and, and then on the, our customs and mm -hmm. everything, it makes you wonder why Rachel would stand for that because she knew hmm. that. You mean Leah? Either one of them. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, they were to their, by right. way, the father. It was arranged. Right. Yeah, arranged. Yeah. And they were submissive, I guess, yeah. to their father. Imagine how Leah felt. But in turn, if I remember right, Rachel couldn't have children. She Leah. couldn't have children. Yeah. And Leah was the one. Having all the children. Having more, yeah. Wow. Hey. Ways her. Yeah. Yeah, and, and so here, here, Job knows he has God's heart. He's more concerned with his hand. Don't take your hand. It's a personal thing. But watch this. He says, let not, let not thy dread, which is the word fear, make me afraid. He's really concerned with, and this is what really threw me and sent me down for a moment. He's concerned that his communion and his communication with God have been cut off. Can you imagine if God stopped talking to us? In, in your Bible, uh, most Bibles, between the Old Testament and the New Testament, um, they were producing them with blank pages. And people, <laughs> and I was, I thought it was, too, would you say Henrietta? I mean, because of the, the, his silence. Yeah. Between Malachi and Matthew, God had went silent for 400 years. Wow. And so the, yeah, some of your Bibles, and I thought it was a pages for note taking. <laughs> I said, oh, we can write right here. I can start taking notes and scribbling all over it. But it's indicating God hadn't said a word. 400, not, not four hours, four minutes, four days, four weeks, four months, four year, 400 years. Wow. Nothing. And for people who are used to hearing from him, through the signs and wonders or miracles or however he did it and desired to do it, nothing. And so, Joe, well, how many <coughs> generations is that you think about? You know, your life, <coughs> your life. I mean, if you stack them one on top of oh, the other, God. how yeah. many generations is that? Yeah, and think about that, darling. And, and if you turn to Matthew 1, um, watch this, because this is important. <laughs> yeah, after 400 years, after prophets and priests and all those individuals he was using to get to this moment, watch what he says in Matthew 1 1. And this is important. See that? It says, listen from the King James. Yeah. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. <clears throat> Abraham, and then he goes through all these begats. And it goes all the way back and traces the, and he's saying from all that time since then, here we are now. And now I've decided to speak. Again. And it's through Christ that he's going to speak. Wow. So, so, Job is afraid of lost communication and communication, and he believes that it all had ceased. And he says, listen, and this is what we want people to understand and, and, and for us to grasp this moment. This, and so God says, listen, right, record for us two fears. There's improper fear, and then there's proper fear. Improper fear is that God will hurt us. Well, what? Improper fear is that God will hurt us. That's the wrong kind of fear you should have. Why is that? Let me pause for a moment. Why do you think God would hurt us? Why would we think that? You live in sin. You fear That's Him. Punishment. Okay. Yeah. And, that, and, and is there anything wrong with that fear? Anything wrong with that? Might inspire you to change your life. Yeah. Okay. So it's a good fear. <laughs> and here's the other side of the coin. God does not desire to hurt us. That's not who he is. And he would rather bless us. He would rather have grace and mercy towards us than to hurt us. But it doesn't mean that we can continue in sin. Paul says, God forbid. But we have to understand the improper fear is that God will hurt us. That's not who he is. Don't you have a moment? Well, there again, you look at your relationship with your children and when Amen. they need discipline... Yeah. They're going to get the paddle out or yeah. they don't do that anymore. But. Yeah. And what we're teaching them is there are consequences to our wrong behavior. Yeah. And so God's going to be steadfast in that. He doesn't change that about him, 
but it's improper fear for us to think that he wants to hurt us. If we make the, 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 the choice to, to sin or to do wrong, there are consequences, and they do come. But it's not his desire, and we shouldn't be afraid. The, the, the proper fear we should have, watch this one, is that we will hurt God. Wow. So that means wherever I go, Chuck, wherever I am, Russell, whatever I do, Henrietta, whomever I'm, I'm talking with or in the presence of, I got the proper fear I should have is that I will hurt God. My mind. Whether it's in my house or at Walmart or at the light or wherever. Do you ever wish in your prayer time you're like on your knees or wherever, how you're talking to God. Um, and I know God uses many means to speak to us. You, you turn on Tony Evans or look at your book or anything. But sometimes I just wish that God would have a conversation with me just like we are. Wow. Well, don't you? Don't you sometimes sit down and, and just... As far as hearing, um, depends on the conversation and how it's presented, audible, whether I hear a voice in mind. Is that I mean, what you're saying? Don't you wish you could sit down and talk to God? I know what she's saying. Yeah. Like, like, like this. Like, person he, person. like you would yeah. talk to your daddy. Yeah. You, yeah. Say, yeah. you know, daddy, yeah. this <laughs> really hurt, or mm -hmm. you know, whatever, and tell me what I need to know. Tell yeah. me what I should do. Or, I want that. Yeah. I don't want God to that's, speak to me in a conversation where... Wow. That's a, that's a, a serious desire um, for your your personal relationship. There's nothing wrong with that. You should desire that. And how he goes about but it. Am I alone or wrong? No. Is there any time that you wish that God would talk back to you in an audible voice and tell you what you yeah. should be doing? Or? Yeah. And I, and I think the closest we're going to come to that uh, is through his spirit. I do. And occasionally, yeah. Yeah, and I think yeah, that he, he there also... There are times when I hear yeah. him speaking to my spirit. Yeah, and sometimes what we have to be careful of, he has different ways of doing it, and we will ignore it. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to hear what Chuck has to say. That ain't God. Well, it is God. Mm -hmm. That's who sent him. Yeah. He sent him to tell me, and if I shut you off, I've missed him. And so there are moments where he does speak and how he goes about it. I think, if anything, darling, it would be almost like us trying to... And I, I know what you're saying. I don't want to belabor that point, belittle it. But it's important. Um, your desire is... I'm sorry, I want to say this. But we don't want to put him in a box where, you know, I'm talking to you now. You should speak. He doesn't do that. No, he doesn't. He, it's on his own time. And that's what, it's that's our own what, humanness that we want to talk Absolutely. to him, just like we would talk to our father yep. or our mother. Our mother, yep. Or sometimes or someone, we anyone. want the answers so quickly. Right. And it increases our faith and our dependence on him when we have to daily keep on seeking him and it. digging deeper. Yeah. Daily. You got it. Yeah. Absolutely. Well put. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have to. Because what would happen, Chuck, watch this. If he told me what was going to happen, I might alter the course. I won't go that <laughs> way. Mm -hmm. I will not do that. Exactly. I, I think I'll go over this way. But it's already late. Here's what I do know about what you're saying. Uh, to him, all of this is history. He already knew we were going to be here. He knew exactly. Missy's going to be babysitting. Craig and Lloyd doing that, what they need to do. Uh, 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 Jeff doing what he needs to do. And we'd be here. He already knew that. <coughs> While well, we sat around and said, okay, here's Russell, here's Chuck, Missy, here's Darla. He says, you know what? I knew they was going to be there. And so while we want the conversation, but you're on it because of your faith. It would, here's what, what, what came out this morning, and I know it will come out again. We walk by faith, not by sight. You know, it would be simple if he could, he would do that. He wouldn't have to have the faith in him. Right. Yeah. Not right. Have to just be. Yeah. Okay, tell me then my next step. Yeah. Tell me your next step. You're right. Yeah. And Darwin <laughs> said it that, that the faith is strengthened, and this is what I like what she really said. We're dependent upon him. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And he's like any other parent who I want you to come mm -hmm. and ask me. Can't you imagine how Abraham felt when the Lord told him that he was gonna <laughs> make his descendants as numerous as it stands on the seashore and the stars in the sky? 